All right, welcome back to the channel. Warhammer Man back in the studio, and today we've got another completed commission. This one is our Minotaurum Armored Containers with the Barrels and Crates Commission. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, and some Horus Heresy content. All types of videos like this showing off our completed commissions as they leave the studio. And then we also do reactions, reviews, and news. There's lots and lots of painting, modeling, conversion tutorials. Uh, if you want to do some magnetizations or copy a paint job that you've seen on my channel previously, uh, we have all kinds of things showing off how to do that. So make sure to like and subscribe really helps out. That being said, uh, this is a completed commission for three of the Munitorum armored containers. Uh, they're in all custom colors selected by the customer. And there's a couple different schemes with various stripes or splits available. Uh, and these were the ones chosen. And then it comes with the nine barrels. Uh, so we did five in red and four in green. And then you have two different size crates. Uh, so there's six each of the two different size crates. And then we did half in green and half in red. And then it comes with six of these storm bolters as well. Uh, that can be mounted on top of the containers. Uh, like put on and removed. So. And this is a pretty cool uh, starting setup. For some basically like nice little scatter train with good line of sight blocking for kill team or to start building up or to add to an existing uh, like set of terrain. So uh, let's take a closer look at what we have here. All right. So here we have the first of our containers. Uh, so these colors were selected by the client and then there's just various different patterns that we do. Uh, so in this case, we have the center is a nice red and then we have the silver on the sides. And then the white stripes in between there. And then there is some OSL lighting effect done as well. And then there's like nice uh, recess shading as well as edge highlights. Want a nice like clean painted look. Uh, but also, you know, make it look like it's part of a war-torn environment. Uh, so here we have uh, the first one. And then here's our second one. This one definitely gives me like the Dark Angels vibe to it. Uh, again, we've got like the metallic bits on there, some edge highlighting, and it's overall done in like a green with sort of a, uh, a little bit more of like an olive green kind of highlights, not like bright green, uh, but it gives a nice surface for the uh, OSL to really make it pop. Really like how it comes out. And it's cool when you do the combined technique of like hand painted, brush painted, and airbrushing uh it really makes the airbrushing give you like that cool osl like lighting effect because you're like oh that style stands out there's something different there and then you're like oh that's a light source uh it's really cool how it works i like it and then here is the last of the containers uh so this one done in a split between the yellow and blue um and this one actually has like three different uh, variations of painting style technique on here so you have the blue is your traditional style the yellow is actually contrast paint and then we have also the airbrush for the osl as well so and this one's super cool because it does combine a bunch of different like looks into one to give this cool clean but like war-torn kind of environmental look and then obviously the edge highlighting looks cool the shading and recess shading and everything looks good but uh, to tell you the truth, the OSL really pops, especially off of the blue. So uh, when it's all said and done, really nice looking pieces. And then next we've got a handful of these little barrels. Uh, they're pretty cool. They have like the eagle on one side and skulls on the other. Uh, and just do a various level of like recess shading and edge highlighting to just kind of make them look good. Again, we went with more of like washed out highlight colors. So they're lighter, but they're not brighter. Uh, so it doesn't like pop too much on the battlefield. And then here we have a few of the green ones. Again, the eagles on one side, skulls on the other. Nice uh, recess shading and then obviously some edge highlighting. These ones match the container. And these are cool because you can set them up in a bunch of different ways. You can put them at like the edge of a container to kind of give some cover to a guy. So he can, you know, post up there. Or you can make a bunch of them as an objective. A big stack of them. Uh, really nice diversity with this terrain set. And then next we have the crates. So the crates are done in two different colors. We have the red and then the green as well. The green matches everything else. The red matches the inside of the silver and red container. Uh, again, we just use a nice 
uh, edge of highlighting over top of like a base color with some recess shading and then obviously do the eagles as well um, in a nice uh you know same style and technique we'll list all the uh, paints down below for you guys and again these crates are super cool because you can put them in a bunch of various configurations uh, stack them all up use them to block line of sight etc and then it's a mix of three of the larger ones and three of the smaller ones in each color so you really get six big ones and six little ones and again they can be arranged in a bunch of different configurations uh, to provide like various terrain bits or just add some scatter terrain i really like the diversity of these kits And then here we have the green ones. Again, we wanted like a nice clean look on them. Uh, they match the containers and the barrels and everything. But also you want to make sure that they look like they're part of the 41st millennia, like war-torn environment. Um, and they're super cool how you can stack them up so many different ways. And then here we have the smaller version of the green ones. And one final cool little feature is with the storm bolters, you can basically just pop them on top. And the little like hatch, you just imagine a guy popping up out of there and shooting from the inside. So you get a bunch of those things and you just kind of push them down in and, uh, you know, put them on top there. They also give a little bit of cover as well. Uh, if you're playing like kill team or something like that, you can have them either obscuring or not obscuring or, you know, have them actually have rules in the game. So that's it. Definitely a cool setup right there. I really like the containers and the barrels and crates. I honestly think that pretty much every game of Warhammer in the, you know, 40K or possibly even 30K, uh, you would pretty much use this in any game. Anything from a small game like Kill Team, Skirmish Game, all the way up to like big 40K games. These are pretty much an essential to anyone's collection. Uh, they're cool because... You can mix them in with anything too. You can have a bunch of like alien Tyranid terrain or something like that. And these fit right in because they were just airdropped in. And this is a little outpost. Or you could have them essentially in the middle of the woods. So you have a bunch of like trees and stuff like that. Or more organic terrain. Or you can put them right in the middle of an Imperial City or Mechanicum buildings uh, really really nice setup these things are super cool too the containers are great because they can provide full-on line of sight blocking for smaller stuff or you can stack them up a lot of times you'll see them stacked too high and you know you can easily use you know eight ten of these in a big game of warhammer or you could use just the three of these with a couple other pieces of terrain in a nice cool game of kill team so a uh, very cool very diverse set and obviously one awesome thing about them is is you can literally paint them any way you want so we always let the customer choose just various different like styles of painting uh, as well as like the little accentuating things and then obviously you can mix the colors so there's literally like endless supply supply of like combinations you can have and then especially with the like barrels and crates as well uh, they're more of a traditional red or green uh, but you know there's tons and tons of ways you could do them in all metallic colors like silver or something like that you could do them in yellow you could put ha hazard stripes on them uh, really cool just you can keep adding on to your collection uh, with more and more of these setups so uh, definitely one of my favorite sets to do and i uh, already spoke with our client it's very happy for them and we're going to get them packed up safely and on the way uh, if you enjoyed today's video or you're curious about any of these styles uh, how we do like the masking for the airbrushing how we do the various shading uh, edge highlights what colors we used all of that will be listed down in the description uh, if you have any questions that were not answered uh, just go ahead and ask them as well and then of course like always there's gonna be other tutorials on how we do various things like these techniques so you can always check those out uh, in the playlist section so uh, that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you're into warhammer 40,000, kill team necromunda age of sigmar Warcry, or horus heresy if you like these type of videos showing off commissions if you want to see how to do different types of things there's lots of painting modeling conversion and magnetization tutorials and then also we do daily videos, reactions, reviews, and news as well. So make sure to like and subscribe. Really helps out the channel. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.